What's up? Wolfish here. Back at it with another horror game. This time it's gonna be the survey. Uh, so the premise of the game, basically you're, you wake up in a house, you're all alone, and you don't remember anything how you got there. And we need to figure out what we need to do, and basically how to survive. It's gonna be exciting. while to load though. Okay. So far, the start has already given me anxiety. Am I hearing someone else's steps? Or is it just me? I guess that's just me. Press E to interact with objects. Okay. Do we have anything here in the main bedroom? Nothing on the TV. I'm gonna try and turn on the lights in the entire house because I really don't like the feeling, the vibe it's giving me up. It's giving me a really creepy one. Okay, so when I get this, the tiny circle in the middle of the screen, I can interact. Makes sense. Anything I can take? Anything useful here? No? Okay, what do we have here? Laundry room. Anything special about the laundry room? I guess not. Another bathroom. What is this? Oh, okay. Can't interact with anything. So, I guess I can't take the key because there is no interaction. Closet, empty as well. Another TV, just with a random channel. Okay, just gonna turn on the lights in every single room that I already visited. the light switch, okay. Shit. Okay. Use the cell phone by pressing space button. Okay. Light switch, please. Even though it's a little bit brighter now, it's still better than nothing. What's this? 
master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Look for for the channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now she's upstairs waiting for you. What the hell? So the phone, the phone pin code. It's it's the channels, right? So the first thing. Master bedroom, other bedroom, and living room. Huh. What's this? Press P, open the, the pause menu with documents in pause menu under documents. Mary Walker, March 8th, 2003. I haven't written this journal in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lilith is 6 years old, while Marcus, uh, I think, is 4. The other day she was painting a picture and it looked fairly abstract at first, just blend of seemingly random shades and, and hues. After making dinner I came back uh, to find uh, her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could end up being a very special girl. Who's Joseph? Is it? Uh, I asked her where she learned to paint that way, but she responded in a confused manner as if she was doing as if she was doing this casually playing around with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. Um, I'll definitely have to keep an eye on, the, on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Okay, so it's, it's the husband. Financially, we're doing well. Uh, no real troubles, no family issues either. Besides his drinking problem, I'll finish this entry. Um, up after I cook dinner, Mary Walker. So, who's who's Marcus and Lilith? Okay. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. So I need to check the channels to get the pin code. Eight. Twenty nine, so that's eight twenty nine. What? Thought her thought I heard someone. Looks like pig though. Anything else? So, oh. A29. 97. A29. 97. Okay. June 11th. Sleep. Okay. A male. So we got. Hey, it's your manager, Mark. Are you available to work next weekend? Emma can come. Come in, so it will only be you and Katie. It's going to be a pretty busy weekend, and she could use an extra hand. Thanks. Help, please. If you are receiving this, you have been chosen to participate in a nationwide survey. Uh, we believe you are qualified to be a representative of a specific demographic group we are studying. To continue, please proceed to the survey app found on your mobile device. Because these are the settings of the game. Welcome to the survey. You have been chosen to represent a certain demographic that is certain, uh, currently being studied. Please be honest while answering all questions. Your cooperation and honestly is appreciated. Press continue to begin. Are you currently situated in your home? Yes. Are you currently employed? 
I guess so because I got the message from the manager. Do you use your mobile device often? Not really. Did you forget your password for your mobile device? Yes. Was finding the password for your phone easy or hard? It's kinda easy. Is anyone with you in your house currently? I hope not. Is anyone supposed to be with you currently? No. Are you a college student? Um... I guess... I guess not. Just working. Do you enjoy being home alone? Not in this one. Not in this house, no. Does it ever feel creepy when you're home alone? Yeah, obviously. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as uh, if you're being watched, but in reality you're not? Yes. Individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently, especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or statues. Are any of those objects inside your house? I mean, I've seen paintings, so... How many, how many televisions you're currently, uh, are there currently in your house? Three? Thank you for part your participation. Please take a short break. We'll continue the service shortly. Okay, what is this? Some until next hint. First answer the questions from the phone, then wait upstairs for the crash. Head downstairs and pick up the note in the living room. Oh, it's like cheat codes. Okay. Um. Did I get? No, still. Okay. I thought, thought I got an extra note. Okay. Go upstairs. <sighs> Shit. Anything changed? God damn it. Give me goosebumps. Anything changed upstairs? No. Can I pick up the key? Guess not. Where was the crash coming from? Wasn't this statue in a different place? Okay. Local painting in Prodigy, August 29, 2009. Lilith Walker began painting when she was 6 years old. Uh, though only being 12, this child Prodigy is able to uh, recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. The child belongs in the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, a uh, construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at the law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith loved, loved to paint and express her talent early. She also stated that uh, she practices anywhere from 5 to 10 hours a day. Just to perfect her craft, her artwork, artwork gaining popularity as demand, her, as demand for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed recently can read. Although she enjoys painting, she also um, plays a variety of instruments such as the violin, piano and cello. Um, on top of painting, she also enjoys... Okay, so Lilith, when I was using the app and uh, in the app it was mentioned if I could hear her or was she at the house? Is this about her? Okay. How come the lights are out again?
what now? Don't tell me I need to go back upstairs. Nothing. Can I maybe pick up the key finally? Still can't. Okay. Nothing changed upstairs. Turn on the TV. What is this? Should I use my phone to kind of cheat a little bit? Just for the hint. Oh. Oh. Thank you for your participation. Please take a short break. We will continue to sh sh shortly, and I can press continue now. For the next, for the next portion of the survey, we will need you. Uh, to fulfill a request, we'll need you to check uh, your bathroom if your bathroom appliances are working, specifically the sink and light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working properly. Okay. Why? Is there something in my bed in my bedroom now? Master bedroom. I'm. I'm t I take it's my bedroom. Appliances. Uh, so tap works. Light switch works. Okay, I would rather read the note. Um, okay, we got that covered already. What's this? Lilith note number one, September 2nd, 2009. I asked mom to get me a diary after my first painting sold. I just thought it would be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mom and dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. It seems like all they want to, to do is make money from it. This reporter came in the other day. His name was Rick Driver. And he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently, we're going to be in an article in the local news. Um, Mom said it would be uh, it will help with my quote-unquote publicity. I hardly uh, hardly even like painting, but whatever makes them happy, I guess. I actually like playing the violin and piano way more than painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy doing that much. I just hope they include Marcus. In the article, I know how much he loves writing. It seems like mom and dad barely even uh, paying attention to him. Is this my fault? Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll trip, fall down the stairs and break my arm so I can't paint anymore. At least for a while, Lilith. Seems like not a really happy family. Lights are off again. I heard someone running here. Hello? Okay. Oh, what? 
My flashlight just turned it off. Turned off on its own. And now the lights are blinking upstairs. So, every time I pick up a note, something happens. Should I really be doing this? Okay, I'll stay here. Notes. P. Documents. Marcus. September 3rd, 2009. So, my sister gave me a journal, even though my mom said no. Uh, she said that after her first painting sold, mom would get her a few. She gave me one of them, so I'm kind of happy about it. Nobody really knows that I'm really into writing besides my sister. This reporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, um, wiping the floors clean and sweeping up all the broken beer glass, uh, glasses from my dad, I assume, and lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him uh, pull in the driveway uh, pen and notepad in hand, in hand. As I saw him get out of the, his car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door just before closing shut struck my nose and I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic, as if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in it, in, in there, and then drank it. I never got to meet the reporter, even though I really wanted to. Marcus. Goddamn. That's so messed up. So. Am I playing as. as someone from the family? Or I'm, I'm just a new owner of the house where they used to live? God damn it. What the? <laughs> Shit. Okay, back to reading notes, back to reading notes. Okay, Lilith notes, set, set number two. January 1st, 2012. I'm kind of sad, I mean, I'm only 15, but my mom and dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Uh, both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. Uh, they quit both of their jobs just to pursue it because it apparently makes them a lot of money. Wow, just like a milking like a cow then. They never ever asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse, or maybe I'll try it till I know, or maybe I'll fall down the stairs and break my neck. Uh, I wish they would pay more attention to Marcus too. He puts so much effort in everything, and he does really well in school. Uh, it was Christmas the other week, and we had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present. Besides, besides me, anyways. What the fuck? It's it's like he doesn't even exist. Uh, to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he always had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scared sometimes. Lilith. Okay. So, does it mean I need to go upstairs? If there's blood leading there, does it mean I need to take the key or something? Finally, I can take the key. Anything here? No. Can I answer? Yes. Yes. Finally. I can feel it's gonna be fun. Okay, that's not so bad. Apparently someone just got killed here, but, you know... What's this? Lilith note number 3. May 3rd, 2013. I hate painting. Mom and Dad want me to finish one piece uh, a week. It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet the quota on top of going to school. I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling my... Uh, telling... 
telling my him what? I tried telling him that I didn't have the right color of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he called Marcus down, he grunted, so you don't have the right color of red. Uh, you could smell the alcohol from his breath. Oh my god, don't tell me he is. He took, me Mar he took Marcus and, and started, hitting, uh, started hitting him until blood started to drip from his nose, and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus on the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured it all over Marcus and walked off muttering something. Mom just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat, uh, sat there unconscious for a bit and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything and uh, all he did was smile, he had a white grin on his face. What? I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading this book about cars. Okay, I don't think it's a normal reaction for a kid after being getting beaten up by your dad to have a white smile. Unexpected. Is that the sister? Am I playing as, as, as the dead or something? <laughs> I hope I can read the note. Death of two siblings. October 1st, 2016, two bodies were recovered after the fire erupted inside of a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night, as neighbors uh, were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in their late teens. Oh, I guess now we know what happened. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school and also worked as a part-time job at the grocery store. Um, how the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. A tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious um, of it due to the circumstances of the situation. So, mother, what about the dad? Where was the dad at the time? Okay. God damn it! Can I just close the door? Jesus Christ. My nips are hard because of the all of the goosebumps I got. The survey. For the next portion of the survey, we will need you to fulfill a request. We will need you to check if your bathroom appliance. Yeah, I already did that. Are they working properly? Yes. Did you notice anything strange? I guess so. She heard you hide. What? Thank you for the input. The next set of questions involves your personal preference concerning music. That's random. Do you enjoy listening to music? Guess so. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Yes. Do you enjoy listening to rap? Yeah, it's fine. Do you enjoy listening to classic music? Classical. Uh, it's okay. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Oh, 
So does that mean I'm playing as, a, as the brother? As Marcus? No. On top of being talented, a talented player, she was also a talented violin player. Do you remember her playing any songs on her violin? No. Uh, were you ever jealous of how gifted she was, how everyone always paid attention to her? I'll go with a no. We have the song that you might enjoy listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and listen to this song. Okay. Flashlight? Yeah, I still got it. Important. I guess that's important. Same thing. Where's the radio? Okay. Of course, the creepy song from the intro. Did you enjoy the song? Yeah, I guess. Do you remember what happened to her? Yes? Do you remember what happened to your family? I mean... I only know what happened to her technically, so no. The screaming, can you hear it? No. Have you seen her? I uh, think so. Are you lying? No. She's watching you. Do you feel her eyes? Turn around. Do you hear the footsteps? What? It died. Okay, I don't like that anymore. Can I turn it on? I mean, can switch it off. Okay. God damn it. looking for exactly oh so that's a two does it mean I need to wait I remember seeing this picture Six, somewhere else four. Okay, so eight, nine, nine two, two, six, four. Six, four. Eight, Need to look where is number eight. Okay, eight. Okay. seen an arrow one here somewhere. Oh. Four. Oh, six. Eight, nine, two, six, four, eight, nine. Where's number two? Was it in that 
That's right. So number six was downstairs in that small room. Is it? Yeah. Okay, where's number four? have one here in this room or is it that being here where's number four Miss it downstairs. TVs. Can I use the computer? No. Guess I need to go downstairs again. Something should have happened. I think I followed the right order. Nothing new. So use these numbers, it will open a door, retrieve the notice. Oh, so that. So that room upstairs is unlocked now. Okay. Note number four, May 16, 2015. I can't move. Uh, today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I try to get out of the bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital just in case it was severe or life-threatening, but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what actually, uh, what as to what I actually have. They said they will need to complete further x-rays possibly even use an MRI in order to uh, verify their, their, their quote-unquote diagnosis. 
Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything, ah. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream because uh, in a way it felt like uh, it lasted forever, Lilith. Okay, so I guess that ghost or whatever it is, it's the sister and I'm the brother. Part 2, he had, he had taunting grin on his face, uh, as if seeing her suffer filled his heart with delight. For the first time in a long time, he felt joy. What? Turn around. What? What was part 1? He watched her uh, reading in pain as her condition set in, knowing nothing could be done to help her. Among all her family, she loved him the most, yet... Oh, so I guess the brother was not right in the head. What the hell? Marcus note number two, May 17th, 2015, my parents took Lily to the hospital after my sister uh, said she felt immobile around her hip. She said it felt completely stiff, as if all of the muscles surrounding her hip to had turned into bone. The other day dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. Uh, he thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to quote unquote paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling uh, of some old rags I found in the closet. I st it still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks uh, to a couple of months. Uh, school isn't too bad. I'm working this little project with some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car, something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if it can reverse re engineer it to do the opposite task and maybe cancel the braking system remotely is that like is that like a foreshadowing that would be an interesting challenge as long as i don't have to stay at home right marcus okay <laughs> Diagnosis uh, to the Walker family. We had some difficulty in regards to the di uh, to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition, but we have concluded that it is fibrodysplasia os ossificans progressiva. Uh, it is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically turning into a bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit in the future, the future looks very grim. Uh, in all honesty, this, this is what eventually is going to happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including tendons, tendons ligaments, and even muscle will become ossified. The most we can do is to provide mitigation in order to relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition has always been fa fatal. Your Dara might, might be able to make it to the age of 40 if she is lucky. Please let us know that uh, the direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience. I mean, what do you mean please let us know what direction you would like to take? What, what, what are the options? Okay. Tap is still dead. How come the schedule is always 
always says sleep. Should I hide? According to a recent poll, oh. infidelity is at an all-time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker. The two married and bore a daughter Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary what? also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, Everything while Mary worked sense. as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph okay. and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. That's so toxic. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus what with the? cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for That's a long so time. Up. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Okay. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. What? They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 Okay. What? Still can't get it. Should I hide? Please help. Please help. 
God damn it. Okay. Oh, can I interact with the door now? Lilith Note number 8, May, th May 25th, 2015. My parents gave me the news, so I have this condition called whatever. Uh, basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, and muscles uh, gradually turn into bone. They said that eventually I'll lose mobility in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere until I, I'll, need, uh, I'll need the caretakers to basically do everything for me. Uh, right now, I feel in my arms and I feel it in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. It hurts to walk around, and I can't really exercise uh, or damage my body in any way, uh, or else it will speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in. Now, when I'm slowly uh, becoming more and more immobile, it's a bit uh, ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting, or that I would have. Uh, wouldn't have happened to anymore. And this was the answer I received. The best um, the best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now there is a good chance that I won't be able to walk and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope that fam my family will be stable uh, without my help. I'll be um, I'll be pretty I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day I overheard my parents argue and my mom thought, uh, brought up uh, the idea of getting divorced. I feel like this is all my fault, Lilith. Damn. is so distracting. something upstairs should I check the other TV? changed. What about the app? Still dead. Oh.
ever heard them talking about that Lilith's condition, um, what Lilith's condition was. Apparently she had some sort of bone disorder, basically her body keeps becoming more and more immobilized until she's basically paralyzed. The process can take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. They seem very worried about it. Uh, as, as far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. I wonder what will happen. Mom and Dad were screaming at each other the other day. I've never seen them argue like that. Uh, it was quite entertaining seeing them bicker and yell. Entertaining. I had a white grin across my face as I watched them. Sp uh, the, the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mom has been able to find a job uh, with her old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck, this is quite an unfortunate situation. Um, I did a bit more research on my condition and it seems in on the condition and it seems incurable. My parents seem like they've, uh, they're have they in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before, frantic, scared and unstable. I've never been more excited in my life. What the fuck? Marcus. Damn this Marcus guy. So I guess I'm playing as this idiot. I can't say I, 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 I can't, I mean, he had a pretty messed up childhood. Still a lot of time to hint. August 2nd, 2015. My mom showed him the divorce paperwork and he was livid. I've never seen my dad this furious, his bloodshed eyes trembling in fear because he knew he was powerless against the, 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 her decision. He kept taking the beer bottles and smashing them against the kitchen table after he heard the news. She said she was tired of having him just drink, drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I, I left a little surprise for him in the car. He'll find out while he's driving. Is that his little project that he was talking about, like the the the, the brake car brake system? Uh, that he wanted to reverse engineer. Well, for now, I guess I'll be uh, it'll be mom, me, and Lilith. Uh, she asked me to get a part-time job since we'll be needing the money to help with Lilith's medical bills. I don't mind working, even though I'm still in high school. Uh, it'll, I'll be pretty busy, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. It'll be hard though. I went to the doctor the other day and he examined my shoulder. It turns out I've had a torn rotator cuff uh, for a while now, but I've never been able to get it checked out because of that. I haven't been able to rotate my arm past 90 degrees without feeling this tearing sensation on the back of my shoulder. Thanks, Dad. I guess uh, in the end everybody gets what they deserve, Marcus. Yeah, I guess, I guess Marcus wasn't really happy with his father. Can't can't say I blame him. Blame him. Is that the picture again? God damn it! Ah, Jesus, you you would think I would already learn my lesson, what to expect. From this game. This is still alive. Mm, new note. What's this here? Suicide note with a creepy music in the background. October 3rd, 2016. It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week um, at my job ever since the divorce, just to cover everything. Lilith, well, she was bedridden and relied on Marcus for just about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. I went on a business trip for about a week and I didn't get the news until I came home. The house caught, and f caught fire. I was told that Lilith died a horrific death, burning alive in the flames, consuming her. They said the fire started in her room, most likely by a candle that was uh, tipped over. The neighbors, they said, all they heard was a haunting scream like an animal that knows uh, its death approaching. It's approaching. Everything is gone, my kids, my house, did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed. 
I'm a horrible person. I let my son be abused for years just to force my daughter to pain and make myself money. I guess Joseph got what was coming to him. And now it's my turn. I just wish I could watch over them. Mary Walker. So... Does it... Does that mean that the dad found this the, the surprise left by by the son in his car and something happened? I don't really want to go there and check. Um, what else was there? So. It said in one of the previous notes that both of them died. So am I, am I playing as Marcus or am I playing as someone else? So... So messed up. Ab's still dead. I'm Joseph, back with an update concerning our latest story. A drunk driver was recently killed in an accident outside a local liquor store. According to friends and family, the man had been going through a divorce with his wife. Oh. Probably trying to drink okay. his sorrows away, he swerved off the road, crashing his car into a tree. Officers have noted that there might have been tampering involved with the braking system oh, of the Of course. Vehicle. There we go. Fortunately, the I guess the son got his revenge. Greatly while dying. I know a certain someone that would be happy to know so. Don't worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph bringing the local news to you. Okay. So, Joseph, isn't that the father? So the father basically said this about himself. Oh. Okay. Lilith note number six, March third, two thousand sixteen. It's been almost a year since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse recently. I'm losing control of hands. So it's getting quite difficult to write. Uh, one day I wake up and I'm unable to move a certain part of my body. It's a bit horrifying having uh, your all your muscles, ligaments and tendons slowly turn into bone. Marcus has been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden to him. On top of school, his part-time job and taking care of me, he seems so busy. Mom has been working overtime almost every weekend um, just to help with my medical bills. I mean, we have insurance and we still have some money left over from my paintings, but it's still getting pretty tough uh, to pay for everything. I can't walk anymore, so I'm pretty much confined to my bed most of the time. My favorite part of the day is when my brother comes in to check on me. Hopefully he'll never read this. This is embarrassing, but I feel like I'm holding him back. After dad died, he just seems so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserved, but is this the pun is this my punishment too? What?
coming to get me. Is she? gonna be a jump scare again. Note number five, March 5th, 2016. I can barely keep up with everything. I was accepted into the uni that really wanted to attend, but decided not to go through with it. If I did leave, uh, no one would be here to take, off, to take care of my sister. If I'm being honest, I wish I could leave. I want to move on, and I just want to forget about her, mom, dad, and all of them. I've decided to attend his community college first. And the trans... And the transfer... And then transfer to university afterwards to save money. Also, I won't be in a ton of debt when I graduate, so that'll be nice. Last night I saw something a bit disturbing. As I shade, as as I as I made uh, my way to my room, Lily's door was slightly ajar, and I could also hear this uh, happy scraping sound. Uh, it was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned the light on, and there was blood covering her hand. She was running the tips of fingers across the wall, uh, up to the point where her fingers, finger, fingernails were now loosely attached to her finger. Yeah. She seemed so out of touch with reality. Uh, I looked at her other hand, but it was bent in an awkward position. Her wrist bending toward her body, while her fingers looked stiff. This thing in my house, I don't think this is my sister. My sister was a painter, a talented girl with immense potential. Her eyes gradually turned toward me. I felt them almost reaching out to me, pleading to, for comfort. I gave her none. Marcus. Oh, such an asshole. And she always had nice things to say about him in the notes. Downstairs it is. interact with anything nothing here. Am I waiting for something or am I missing something? Huh. But also the can no longer interact with the light switch here. What? What's 
happening. Am I gonna die now? Mark's note number 6, September 26, 2016. Mom is leaving for about a week. She's going on a business trip, so she's leaving me in charge to take care of my sister and the house. Uh, I check I check on her briefly about once or twice a day just to make sure she's still alive. I might forget to check uh, throughout the week though. What? It's such a... How can you forget? It's such a chore taking care of her. Why can't she just die already? Okay. Am I wrong for saying that? Yes, you are. Because of her talent, her, her God-given... Uh, her God-given gift to paint, I, it destroyed our family. Without it, everything would, would be normal. And then everybody gets what they deserve, and she's getting uh, her end right now. So I guess he really was jealous of her. Uh, should probably answer that, you know, question on the phone differently when it came to jealousy. Dad received his, and Mom is uh, breaking her back just to make ends meet. I wonder what my end will be in store. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll get the worst ending of them all. I realize that my hatred for her is wrong and unjustified. It wasn't her fault, she was just born with that skill. I feel guilty uh, that I enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain. It's an immature, immature reaction for so long, I wished for someone to feel my suffering. I would get beatings almost every week, uh, with my mom and sister just watching it. Was was almost entertaining thinking of what I could tell people at school when they asked about the cuts and bruises. Now it's a little different, I guess. Uh, I'm in control and she's the helpless one. I don't really believe in heaven or hell, but if one exists, I'll probably end up in, in the latter, Marcus. Okay. are off. Yet another note. <sighs> September 28th, 2016. This will be a uh, uh, last letter I write. I can feel my right hand becoming mobile and stiff. Uh, Mom left a couple days ago and it's been up to Marcus to take care of me. Even though his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent over the last few months, I understand I'm just a burden to him and my mom. He hasn't checked up on me and uh, ever since he left. I tried everything, knocking and banging my hand against the wall, screaming. I mean, that's all I can really can, uh, do since I'm practically mobile. Uh, sometimes I get my hopes up uh, hearing him walk up the stairs, just maybe he'll walk through the door and check on me. Did I deserve this uh, for not standing up my parents, up to my parents and letting all this happen? All of this is my fault. Uh, I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. Lilith. Oh, damn. So this is like a, a farewell, like a goodbye note. So she was the one who set the house on fire with a candle. Dude. What the fuck? God is dead. God is dead. Okay. God is dead. God is dead. Should I go back? Since I already got the note. Am I missing something again? How come the lighting now looks normal? 
Oh, so it was the flashlight that turned red. Oh, I can hear the classic music. Is it coming from the computer? gonna jump me again. Hello? <laughs> of course. Oh, I'm still alive. Right? Come, everything is red now. Not only the flashlight. Marcus note number seven, September 30th, 2016. Life is pretty quiet, to be honest, right now. Between school and work, it's a bit stressful, but it's not as bad as before. Mom is set to come home in a few days. Uh, it was nice having the house all to myself, but uh, for about According a week. According to the police report, both bodies were recovered. So, the young woman was dead at the scene. What? After performing an autopsy, it was confirmed that the fire led to her death. But officials also found something strange. Her body was starving. What officials think occurred was during her final moment, as an act of desperation, she lit a candle inside her room and started the fire herself. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Damn. Emotions ranging from jealousy, hatred, so he was, enviousness, he really was and frustration jealous, uh, might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Head. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and required help for the simplest activities. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life, everyone had paid their attention to her. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, though he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently he resides. Both of them died. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been unconscious what? ever since the fire. No one knows when, or oh. if he will ever wake up, or so what this he is, is why experiencing. The entire schedule on my phone is just basically at sleep. All, or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother. Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. Yeah, that's sad. 
Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, what? he's stuck in his own personal purgatory. Stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Oh. Thank you for listening. This was so Joseph Walker, bringing your local news to you. Okay, I guess now we now we get an explanation to what happened and I guess we're in purgatory what? damn messed up but all in all the game was really good really I really like that story because at the very beginning you don't know what to expect and especially the name of the game, the survey, you know, um, this is not what I expected in a, in a good way. So, so yeah, definitely appreciate all of the jump scares and stuff, I really like the atmosphere. I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode.